Hi friends, welcome to .NET Mo. In this video, we will discuss how we can add watermark or background image in Crystal Report using C Sharp. In the last part of the video, I will show you how to display dynamic image or watermark in Crystal Report. In the previous video, we have discussed how to show multiple tables in Crystal Report. You can find the video link in video description. This is the final output of previous lesson. In this lesson, we will add watermark into this Crystal Report. I can give you the brief description of the project, but if you want to learn it from scratch, please go through the previous lesson. Here we have the project in Windows Form application and it contains a single form with a Crystal Report Viewer and we will be using this Report Viewer to show the Crystal Report. Inside the Crystal Report folder, we have a Crystal Report and we have a data set ds product through this data set we will be passing our data for report generation this is our database inside that we have a table with column product id product name product code amount and count product table is populated with few rows stored procedure product report will retrieve the data for report generation in the first select query it will select top 5 costly product in the table in the second select query, it will select products with zero count. Inside the form load event of the form, we have generated product report. First of all, we called stored procedure product report and we filled the result into data set DS product and we have passed data into Crystal report using this data set. And finally, we have displayed the Crystal report into our Crystal report viewer. Don't worry, you can download this project from the link given below in video description. So now let's try to add watermark into this Crystal Report. First of all, I will show you how you can add an image into Crystal Report. For that, I will add a new session below this report header. Right click on it. Then click on insert section below. Then inside this section, I am going to add a new image. Right click then insert picture then select the picture then click on open then place your picture inside this section now if I run this application you can see the newly added image right below the report header product report and it will take as much as space needed based on its size now I am going to make this picture as a watermark for this report for that right click then section expert now we want to move this section with image or watermark above all of other sections for that here you can see a upward arrow select the section with image or watermark then click on this arrow then click on ok so watermark section is the first section in this crystal report now one more step right click on this section then section export then select this option underlay following sections click on ok now let me run this application so here you can see the image as a watermark for this report in order to fit this watermark into your report you can adjust width and height of the report based on the page size or you can edit this image in photo editing softwares like photoshop according to the page size to see the page size right click then go to design then page setup then you can see page options from this drop down you can select the uh, size of the page in your report if you select a4 you can see width and height of the page and according to these measures you can edit your watermark for now i will select a4 click on ok now I will show you a limitation of Crystal Report watermark. If I add lines into report header B section here, you can't see these lines in the generated report. Let me show you that. Now you can't see the these two lines that I have added in report header B section in generator report that's one of the limitation of crystal report watermark there is a solution for this problem 
if you want to draw an element with line you can draw that element in a sub report like i have done in this sub report costly product and zero product inside these sub reports i have i have added lines here you can see lines to separate columns and rows and even though you can see these lines in generated report because it is in sub report so a solution to this problem is to add lines in sub report so that you can see those lines above the watermark now let's discuss how we can make this watermark dynamic so that we can change the image during runtime for that i'm going to add a new table into this data set right click add data table i will name this table as report details let me add one column watermark path now save this data set then back to the crystal report then expand data fields in field explorer right click on it then data expert expand project data adio.net data sets then include this newly added report details table into our report click on ok click on ok so now we have the newly added report details here in order to make this watermark dynamic right click on it then format object then go to picture tab then click on this formula button right to graphic location and then from here we will select the watermark path column here and drag into this field then click on save and close and click on ok so now we have to pass the image path from our c sharp code let me go to the form load event so here we have to pass a new data table data table dtbl new data table tbl columns dot add first parameter as column name itself so i will copy this from here and paste it the second parameter will be the type of column type of string and let me add a row into this table etbl dot rows dot add inside this i am going to add image path of a watermark now let me select a watermark image from my desktop this is fine right click on it go to properties then select the path paste it here finally we have to pass the image name let me copy from here and pasting here and we want to pass this table into our data set for that let me copy this line and pasting here let me change the table name report detail and we will pass the newly created table dtbl let me run this application now so here you can see the new image that we have passed during runtime so this is how we can add runtime watermark into crystal report you can download this project with db script from the link given below in video description if you have any doubt or feedback please comment in the comment box below please be subscribed to my channel dot net mob for more hours videos like this Please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this. 
have a nice day bye